ultrasound thyroid nodule reporting lexicon and thyroid score. Now what's the thyroid nodule? It's just an area of the thyroid which is sonographically distinct from the remainder of the thyroid and is still located within the confines of the thyroid capsule. Now based on the ultrasound feature we we ascertain whether this is likely going to be benign or malignant and accordingly subject to uh, um, biopsy. Now commonest now the colloid nodules the, uh, which are benign which we know how to screen out by the cometal artifacts then the hyperplastic nodules or toxic nodules and there are autoimmune thyroiditis. Now the malignant ones the thyroid carcinoma, the PTC, the follicular, the metallurgy, the anaplastic, the lymphoma and the metastatin. Now these are the ones which we try, have been trying to filter out from the rest by using the triple criteria for suspicious nodules. Each lesion we look for calcifications and then marked hypoecogenicity, irregular microlobulated margin and taller than wide. With different systems in place, the American College of Radiology, the ACR in 2017 came up with a white paper and trying to classify the system. There are various different tyrates followed across the group. This talk is based on ACR tyrates which gives recommendations for the nodules when to biopsy, when to follow up based on the size and the ultrasound features. Now the ultrasound features, the scoring is determined from five categories of ultrasound features. The higher the cumulative score, the higher the tyrates level and the likelihood of malignancy. We have five categories from which we choose a score. Composition, echogenicity, shape, margin, echogenic foci, and if there are any suspicious of eichel lymph node, then we add additional score for that. Now the composition, we have to choose one. Either we choose them as cystic or we choose as completely cystic, uh, which gets a score of zero. And it can be either called solid or almost completely solid, which gets a score of two, which can be mid cystic or solid, which gets a score of one, and a spongy form gets a score of zero. So accordingly, we choose a score for a composition. Coming to the next point, echogenicity, we choose one. Either we choose anechoic, and which gives a score of zero, or hypo or isoechoic which gives a score of 1, hypoechoic which gives a score of 2 and the very hypoechoic even hypoechoic than the muscle layer gets a score of 3 which is like really pointing to sinister etiology. Coming to the shape we choose 1 wall of for wider than tall we give a score of 0 and for taller than wide we give a score of 3. And a taller than wide is defined as a ratio of more than 1 in the AP diameter to the horizontal diameter when measured in the transverse plane. Coming to the margins, we, for smooth we give a 0 point, for ill defined we give a 0 point, for lobulated or irregular we give 2 points and for extrothyroid extension we give 3 points. So the smooth margin is defined as uninterrupted well defined curvilinear edge ill defined when it's difficult to ascertain. So assuming if it uh, cannot be ascertained, we choose ill defined and get a score of 0. Now regular margins can have irregular lobulations just in a speculated margin just in one little focal area gets a score of 2. Coming to lobulated margins which gets a score of 2 they may be in focal area or they may be in another area as well. Coming to extrathyroidal extension, whenever we see example here it's infiltrated in the strap muscles that gets a score of 3. Coming to echogenic foci, it's very important to differentiate between the comatale artifact and the punctate echogenic foci. So we have large comatate artifact gets suggestive of colloid etiology and gets a score of 0. Macro calcifications get a score of 1 which are larger than 2. 3 millimeters. Peripheral or rim calcifications, 2 points. Now we have to be very careful for the macro calcifications which are larger. They can be peripheral or central. The peripheral, especially the broken rim calcifications are more worrisome. They get a score of 2. The punctate, the echogenic foci, without any steer comatate artifact of suggestive of sinister etiology, PTC or medullary carcinoma and they get a score of 3. Putting all these scores together, 
we calculate our tyroid scoring and if there are multiple nodules more than four then we select the four highest scoring nodule and they follow them up basing on the base our study is based on assumptions if rim calcifications obscure the nodule then we choose the composition to be solid and echogenicity to be isoechoic if margins cannot be determined choose ill defined if echogenicity cannot be determined choose isoechoic if composition cannot be ascertained choose solid now based on all this we put them all in a chart where i look put the size the location and then do the composition echogenicity taller than wide margins echogenic foci and then give a total score and a tyroids level so this is the, the tyroids chart accordingly we will choose the nodules whether we have to fna or whether we have to follow up by the size criteria I try and follow up these cases and get a Bethesda score correlation which further improves my learning and accuracy. Thank you for your listening.